Hello everybody. Um, I'm very excited about doing this video. I am actually got impatient so I'm, my intention was to release three of these and you know what I wanted I got too excited and I wanted to, to just release one right now just just to get it out there. Um, but uh, yeah so it's here. So what I kind of shared a video about this uh, the other day a little sneak peek of what was coming. So uh, it's what are they called? Pencil cases, pencil pouches. Um, I call them pencil cases. So either way, <laughs> I am releasing my hand painted pencil cases. Um, I am so excited about this. So let's let's just kind of dive in. So this is a cotton canvas pencil case that I have hand painted. So both sides are hand painted. So this is the one side, and then this is the other side. I decided to make them completely different on either side. Um, and I like that. So you, if you want it like this, you can have it laid down like that. I love the colors. And then this side here, I love all the, the colors and the splatters and everything. So yes, there's two different sides. And like I said, it's cotton canvas. And then I've done um, a hand dyed fabric strip here to the um, zipper tab so that, um, it's easy. I don't know. It's just a nice little embellishment. So why not? And then you just open it up like that. And what I've done is, so I'm not just putting it out there into the world of just a pencil case, um, because I, you know, why not fill it up with some goodies? So that's exactly what I did. So I have filled this up with a whole bunch of different collage scraps and everything else. I'm just going to pull it all out and put that aside. So I'm just gonna run through this one. So first things first, I wanted to mention that inside I have tucked a little tiny mini simple, gonna stress the simple um, art journal. Now, the reason I'm stressing simple is because it's not um, like other mini art journals or any other kind of art journals that I've released and, and have listed on my website. So I kept this simple, meaning the pages are either completely blank, as is the inside of the cover, or I've cut up a sketch I had from whenever I did that sketch. It was just a pencil sketch and I just cut it all up. So I kept it simple. The pages are attached only by this dyed fabric strip. So you can unknot it and um, take these out, add some more in, and the idea is, is that you create pretty much your own art journal. So you can, like I said, add more into it. You can remove the fabric um, strip here and hand sew it. You And, and even the cover, I did not, this was actually an under paper uh, that was on my art table um, that I just added a little bit of art ma uh, mark making on one side and one of my little label stickers there. That was a reinforcement. Remember those? They had them in school. I don't know if they still do. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I kept it simple. No closures. You can still add more to the cover. So it's it's an opportunity for you to personalize it. So basically, with this art, uh, pencil case, it's, it's a whole little art kit that you can do whatever you want with it. So that comes inside. Um, the pouch, the case, as does one of my doodle flowers, I call them doodle flowers, um, that I put into contact paper. So it's got, uh, it's made from charcoal, I sketched it with charcoal pencil, some watercolor, there's some threads, and I even threw a little bit of green glitter, and the back side is like that, and then of course some hand dyed um, fabric that matches the art journal. So that is included as well. I'm just going to tuck that in there. Okay, so let's get into the collage papers very quickly because there's a nice hefty stash of things in here and they're all of varying sizes, um, different colors, different mediums of paper, um, book pages, parchment paper, tracing paper, uh, stamps, acrylic, watercolor, you name it. This is a little bit of the ledger paper, some of this here. There's some inspirational quotes that you can cut up and add to whatever you want to add it to. 
So I'm just going to, like I said, go very quickly through this. Little pinwheel thing I did. And that's on um, graph, sorry, graph paper. This. So these are all scraps. So um, basically the idea is, is you rip these up and you can do some collage in here and you know, in the pages or in another art journal that you want to do it on. Um, it's, it's, you do whatever you want with it. So if you wanted to use some of these bigger pieces as a journal page and fold it up and tuck it into this or another journal that you have, you know, you're welcome obviously to do that. Um, I love this. This has got like glitter. It's really sparkly. I don't know if I can pick that up, but yeah, it's nice and sparkly. Um, some Chinese, I think it's Chinese, yeah, Chinese money. I think they call it ancestor money or spirit money. Um, this, this, this is origami paper with some mark making on it and some more origami paper. This is a, a scrap, a collage scrap that I had started. I didn't finish it. I initially was taking part in one of those 100 day challenges. And I, my challenge for myself was to do 100 days of collage scraps. This was day six. I don't think I made it past that and I didn't even finish it. Um, so you can rip this up or finish it up or whatever you want to do with it. Um, I gave up on the challenge. I'm not very good with challenges. Uh, one of these, I think they're Tim Holtz. Um, this little pop out here so she can see her little. There we go. Um, oh, there's still one between them. There we go. Um, so that's included. Some deli paper. Lots of mark making. This is those reinforcements. That one I showed you that's on the cover, that little mini journal. So you have a little strip of it here that you can do whatever you want with it. One of my doodle flowers. Um, so you can obviously do whatever you want with that. So this. And the other thing too with these collage scraps is you can add more to it. You don't have to just take what I did. Like you could add more color on these ones that are just black and white. You can add more black and, and you know, do whatever you want with it. You can add some splatters on it. So you're not just, you know, stuck with whatever's on here. If you like the way it is, then obviously leave it and fine. But you can obviously, you know, embellish on it even more, do some more mark making on it. I really love that, that whole, I used my palette knife and I just layered on a lot of paint. I just like really went to town with smearing it all up and everything. I love it. Some um, paper doily, just couldn't think of it for a second there. Music sheet. Lots of different colors from brights to darks and in betweens. Some um, paint dyed um, ribbons piece there. You could do whatever you want with it. Some papers, just copy paper that I just did a bunch of mark making on. So nice and simple. This is drywall tape, not the kind that, um, that has adhesive on it. So these are really great for anything you want to do. I use them a lot too to um, reinforce the spine. So you can do that as well. And then the last piece is some of a strip of this graph paper with some paint on it. So there you go. So all of this is included, tucked inside exactly as you see it. Um, <laughs> the pile is so thick with all these bits. And then we have this, and we have this, and it goes inside here. So that is exactly what you will be getting. So this is now, I am so happy to share, this is now listed in my website. So you can get all the details. I will put down the number count of how many pages there are. I will put down the dimensions of the 
pencil case so you can um uh you know if you want an idea of what this the size of this is i will share that as well i can't see i don't have anything here to kind of give you an idea uh okay everybody knows a sharpie so it's like bigger than that <laughs> just to give you an idea um but anyway so yes listed on my website thepaintedwitchstudio.com i've been in my studio for a few hours and my brain is starting to go i need nourishment all right i'm gonna go now thank you so much for watching i hope you're as excited about this as i am i was just so excited to share this with you and i have a few more to do but like i said i completed one of them with all the collage and i'm like i'm not waiting for the others to get done i'm just i'm just putting this out there now so here it is the painted witch have a fantastic day everybody take care